And it is that time. We've been talking about it all morning long. The first day of school is here. Kate and Sally are off uh, taking their kiddos to school as well. And you know, it's not only the first day of school for students and teachers in Austin ISD. Today marks the first full school year for Superintendent Dr. Paul Cruz. He will oversee nearly 85,000 students in the district. Cruz has said part of his mission as the head of AISD is to expand pre-K learning. And our uh, KXAN Sophia Bosley is live from Sims Elementary in East Austin to tell us more about that. Good morning, Sophia. Hi, good morning, Erin. Well, first and foremost, I want to show you all what's going on right behind me. You can't ignore it. School is underway. You've got teachers outside greeting all the little ones as they make their way into their classrooms. And you know, something that these students may notice is that some of their classmates will be younger because they'll be starting at three years old and that's part of the pre-k expansion plan so the goal is to get young low-income students ready for kindergarten in the spring united way for greater austin gave austin isd a 215 thousand dollar grant to expand the pre-k program that means there will be 15 additional aisd pre-k three classrooms four of which will be full day classroom instructions now researchers from e3 alliance say kids who attended pre-k were three times more likely to be ready for school. Superintendent Dr. Paul Cruz says part of that training is getting kids ready in the, for a technology-based world. In Austin ISD, we educate students who are three years old and they have technology that they can use for learning, but we also have students who are 20 years old, 19 years old, and it's going to be very different. Mm. Coursework is going to be very different. All that being said, technology is important. We are doing our rollout on our technology plan but it was part of a bond package from a couple of years ago and where our different school communities will come together to determine what type of technology is needed and what they will then request and we will purchase in the end. Not all students are eligible for the pre-K uh, program. They have to be considered low income, either be homeless or have a parent who's in the military. They also have to be free by the time September 1st hits. So when it comes to education, we're talking about teachers in the school system, along with pay increases. We'll have all that and more coming up in 30 minutes. But Aaron, again, a reminder for all of y'all watching, uh, remember those speeds out there. Remember to watch out for the kiddos. You know, we're watching the streets and the school buses and the safety guards taking the kids across the street. Just be mindful of everyone out here on the first day of school. Reporting live from East Austin, Sophia Beausoleil, KXAN News. Absolutely good advice, Sophia. I know a lot of officers, extra officers, are going to be out there this morning. Also, as she mentioned pre-K, we are going to be checking with Austin ISD today to find out what enrollment looks like after some big marketing efforts over the summer. Also, funding for preschool education was a big topic during the legislative session earlier this year. In June, Governor Greg Abbott signed a bill that will create a $130 million incentive account for districts that implement quality pre-K standards. The bill sparked controversy when advisors to Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick described the initiative as based in socialism and said it keeps Texas children in a godless environment. The measure sets up incentives for districts to adopt higher quality measures within pre-K programs. 